You ask, so here it is. We are going to be talking about the three must have scrum dashboards you should be having in your ClickUp. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEV.com and I'm a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And today we are diving into agile management. And specifically, I want to talk about ClickUp dashboards and how we can use them to make your life easier running scrums and managing your agile project management right here in ClickUp. Now I reached out to my community over on Discord and I asked them, what is your favorite dashboard? What have you set up right here in ClickUp to make your life easier as a scrum master? Because I'm not a scrum master. But we have an amazing community over on Discord that came together and started teaching me. And now I'm gonna share with you what we talked about over there. This first dashboard I'm going to show you is going to be your hub. It's your overall talk to your team, what's going on, what's happening kind of dashboard. Perfect to get started, nice and easy playing around with dashboards right here in ClickUp to make your scrum management easier. So let's head on over to my dashboard, shall we? This one right here is my hub. As you can see, we have a simple chat feature on the right hand side, which already should give you the idea of, hmm, this is where your scrum team is going to be housed. This is where general communication is going to happen. This is where you exchange information, team management. This is where you chat right there, rather than going over into Slack and then managing tasks and click up and heading back over to Slack. Let's keep it simple and in one space, shall we? Cool. So we have a chat feature in here. We also have support tickets in here. That's an upcoming video, how you can handle support tickets right here in ClickUp for your sprints. No big deal. And then the current sprint you are running. So this dashboard allows you to have a general hub with a big overview of all the things that are happening. So let me show you how we set this up. First tip, don't do what I do. I always forget to switch over to edit. Somehow, I love that we have edit and viewing now, but it happens to me every single time where I'm like, why can I not change anything? So make sure you hit the edit button. And then this is a really simple dashboard. For once, we need a chat widget. So pretty much just add a widget. We don't even have to type it in. This is the chat widget, add it, done, rename it, whatever you wanna do. There is no other setup with this. It's just there. Cool, we got that one out of the way. Now, for support tickets, what we did right here, this is a task widget that we then call support tickets and we are pulling in from our location. So our agile management space, there we have a folder called support tickets. That's where everything is going to be collected. And that's the task that we are funneling in right in here. Again, there is no major different setup and filtering and anything going on. We literally just pull in the task widget, choose our list for support tickets, then sort by status and done. That's it. If you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to because I'm going to be talking about how to set up that support ticketing system in one of my upcoming videos right there. Cool. Then let's jump into the third widget on this dashboard. This third widget is going to need some updating while you are going through sprints. So let's look at the settings. What did we do here? This again is a standard task list widget. Nothing fancy about it. We call it current sprint. And this is where your management tasks comes in, where you maybe should set up a recurring task that reminds you to switch your sprint list. Meaning, because this is the current sprint, as you can see, the dates are off. This is my sandbox. You want to choose your current dates. With this being your current sprint, you need to go in and switch from your past sprint to the current sprint when you are going from one sprint to the other. As simple as that. Other than that, make sure you in Include your closed tasks because we do want to see what's gotten done as well as show your tasks and subtasks in multiple lists. As we've talked about in the videos right here, subtasks in multiple lists is a big, big feature being used in agile management right here in ClickUp. And that's our first dashboard. 
So let's jump into the second dashboard, shall we? Our second dashboard inspiration came from Gustavo, who just moved his team from a Jira setup to a ClickUp setup. You're actually gonna see him on the live show right here on my channel. So again, make sure you subscribe. You haven't yet? What's stopping you? This dashboard is for your development. You're easily gonna be able to see your burn up, your burn down, your cumulative flow, as well as your workload by status and your tasks by assignee. Meaning it is for you to know what the heck is actually happening. So let's look how we can set this up, shall we? So how do we set up this development dashboard? Again, it actually is quite simple because ClickUp has already done the work for us. Going into the widget area, you have your burn up and your burn down already ready to go. So name it, what is the source? So use your specific list of the sprint you are going to be working on. As you saw, we are using that specific sprint right there. Are we going by days, by week, by months? What time range are we using? This week, blah, whatever. Set it up how you need it, including your subtasks. Again, subtasks and multiple lists. We've talked about this. And there we go. That's how easy you can set up this burn up chart right in there. Look at that. Just what I showed you. The same way you can set up the burn down chart. Again, choose the burn down widget. Use your list that you would like to use for it. That specific sprint. What is your sprint length? You are counting by sprint points. Set everything up how you need it and what you want to see. Yeah, ClickUp has made this so easy for us. If you are looking at the workload by status, again, that is a widget already ready for you to go right here in ClickUp. No fancy trying to figure things out and what's the X axis and Y axis. It's there. Just plug it in. Really that simple. And yes, we do want to show all statuses and group by status. And then last but not least, task by assignee for you to be able to really pay attention of how you have spread out the work. Maybe you overloaded somebody with work. Maybe somebody doesn't have enough to do and you actually can hand off a couple of things. And then if you are not in a sandbox, it would actually be looking something more like this. Then last but not least, as Scrum Master, you are on the hook for getting things done. With that, having a dashboard that allows you to see exactly who is doing what and where are the tasks in the process and what's happening and all the things, just being able to see it all in one spot, like Gustavo set up for his team right here, is invaluable. So let's go look how we can set this up. Again, really, really simple to set up. Let's look at this right here. Again, we are using the task list widget right in here. We are getting a little bit more fancy though with filters this time. Choose your sprint location again. So again, make sure when you are starting new sprints to have a task to go into your dashboards and update those to your current sprint. That location needs to be updated. With that, again, go through the settings, set it all up how you need it. And then in your filter, you add a filter that says assignee is and choose the person you want to see the tasks for. In my case, it was me. Now here's a little pro tip. Rather than adding a new widget and setting up the location and setting up the filter and all the things, do one thing. Go right in here, say duplicate. Cool, Evie, now I have two of you, what the hell? Change the naming convention on top, go into your filter and simply change the assignee to the next person rather than building the same widget over and over and over and over again. Just duplicate what you built and change that one data point you need different. So here are my community's most loved Scrum Master dashboards right here in ClickUp. So let me know in the comment section, what kind of dashboards do you love setting up in ClickUp to make your agile management so much easier right in ClickUp? Drop it down below in the comment section. And if you are just like me starting out with agile, go watch this video where I talked about subtasks and multiple lists, ins and outs, how they work, what you need and all the things because agile management within ClickUp you're gonna need that feature right in there. And have you subscribed yet? I'll see you in the next video.